let's solve this harvard exam question now so many persons were unable to do that but let's see how it goes we are going to bring this 12 in and if we do that okay we are going to have x squared minus x to the power of 3 minus 12 is equal to 0. Since plus 12, if it crosses, it becomes minus 12. So this implies that this is a cubic polynomial. So let's arrange it the way it's supposed to be. And to do that, this minus x to the power of 3 is supposed to come first, right? So the degree of 3 comes first, followed by what? x to 10 minus 12 is equal to 0. Perfect. Now, this implies that we have minus sign at the beginning of the equation. Let's try and remove the minus sign. The only way to do that is if we multiply through by minus 1. So if we do that, we are going to have x to the power of 3 minus x squared plus 12 is equal to 0. Perfect. Now, we need to factorize this. To do that, this 12, we need two numbers that when we add together, we get 12. One of those numbers must be raised, must be able to be raised to the power of 2. The other one will be in degree of 3. This is what I mean. The two numbers are 4 and 8. 4 plus 8. Why? Because 4 is 2 to the power of 2. And 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Degree of 3 and degree of 2. So that they can be easily factorized. Okay? So we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 0. So this implies that x to the power of 3 minus x squared plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now let's collect like terms together. If we do that, we have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 minus x squared plus 2 squared is equal to 0. Perfect. Now, we have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. So, this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. Now, if we write this minus and open bracket, this same thing as x squared minus 2 squared, right, is equal to 0. Yes, because if I open this bracket, I'll still get this back. All right. Now, a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is a, an algebra identity, which is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared, right? So if we should substitute that here, but before that, note also, x squared minus 2 squared is in this form, a squared minus b squared, which is equal to a plus b, multiplied by a minus b right because this is difference of two squares now let's attach this here okay let's write this in this form so if we do that this is going to be equal to what so it's going to be x plus two bracket x squared right x squared minus a b that is two times x which is two x plus b squared that is two squared which is four all right now, minus, this becomes what? <laughs> a plus B bracket A minus B. That is X plus 2 multiplied by X minus 2. Everything is equal to 0. Now, I want you to look at this variable. You are going to see X plus 2 and X plus 2. So, let's factorize that. If we do that, we are going to have X plus 2. We open our bracket. When this is divided by this, this will remain, right? X squared minus 2X plus 4. All right? Minus when this is divided by this, this will remain x minus 2, all right, is equal to 0. Okay, so we have that x plus 2 into x squared minus 2x plus 4. This minus, we open this bracket, so we have minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Perfect. So this implies x plus 2 into... Let's collect like terms. We have x squared. Now, minus 2x minus x will give us minus 3x. Then, 4 plus 2 will give us plus 6 is equal to 0. This. Then, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. And this is also equal to 0, right? So, we now have that x plus 2 is equal to 0. Or that x squared 
minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. Yeah, this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So if we should solve the first part, we are going to have that our x is equal to minus 2. Now, for the second part, we are going to use the quadratic equation formula. But before then, if this is the first time you are tuning in, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So, thank you so much. That means for this side, we are going to have, using the quadratic equation formula, which says that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, our a is what? Coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is coefficient of x, which is minus 3. And our c is our constant, which is 6. Okay? All right. So if we should substitute that here, then we have that x is equal to minus minus 3 will give us plus 3 plus or minus square root of b squared is minus 3 squared, which will give us 9. Then minus 4 times a, that is 4 times 1, which is 4, times 6, which is 24. Okay, and everything is divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have that our x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 24 will give us 15, okay? divided by 2. Therefore, that simply means that, um, sorry, minus 15, not 15, minus 15. So we now have our x to be equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 15i. Yes, because this center has square root of 15 multiplied by square root of minus 1, right here. And square root of minus 1 is what? I divided by 2. So that means that x2 is going to be 3 plus square root of 15i all over 2. Why x3 is going to be what? It's going to be equal to 3 minus square root of 15i divided by 2. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.